Okay there guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'm at Lake Illawarra and right about now it's just coming on past 7 a.m. in the morning. As you can see in the background the sun's just rising in the horizon. Um, the conditions aren't really the best today. At the moment it's blowing a sight, a light southerly wind, but uh, it's forecast to pick up to about 30, 35 uh, kilometers an hour by late morning, midday. So I have a small window opportunity right now and um, what I have planned is I'm going to be heading out right now to my foraging grounds, get on some, some cockles and uh, possibly we'll wet a line later, see if we can get on some fish. But um, I do have a couple of uh, catch and cook options on my sleeve so uh, we'll just see how the day pans out. But uh, that's it, there'll, there'll be some cockles and we'll just see if we can follow through with a second recipe or not. But that's for now, I'm just going to keep paddling because there's still a bit of a paddle ahead and um, we'll check back in when we're at the foraging grounds. Yeah, so there's a lot of fish action at the moment. Little balls of bait fish just busting up on the surface. See all the fish activity up ahead. Mullets jumping everywhere. So at the moment the tide is running in, um, the complete high tide is going to be at about 11am today. So I hope right now it's not too deep because I don't really want to go for a swim to get some cockles. Hopefully the water is only just going to be about knee deep, but we'll soon find out. Okay so it's just around this bend now and we'll be at the foraging grounds. Uh, the banks are still exposed. Beauty. That should make for a bit of a easy foraging. Okay, let's turn her around. And hopefully there should be just enough water for me to paddle through right to the foraging grounds. Okay, so we're over at the foraging ground now. So I'm just going to quickly forage for some cockles as a um, follow up to this recipe that I have in mind. So I'll just give you a quick demonstration. The cockles are all just around here. You can just feel around with your hands, uh, if not your feet. But I got my clogs on, so I'll be using my hands today. They are quite plentiful. There we go, that's one there. Just give you a quick look. Now I must stress that um, with these cockles, uh, there's a new limit to these. A couple of years, a uh, year and a half ago, it was actually about 50 per person, but now the regulations have changed. They are 20 per person per day, so um, do follow the limits. But uh, as for 20, it should be enough for a lovely meal for myself. So I'll just go ahead and uh, so I'm just going to continue foraging. Yeah, so the cockles, they just lie within, amongst the seagrass and slightly buried under the sand. Sometimes when you hit a spot, there's plenty, you don't really have to go far, they're just like literally all there. Okie dokie, so 
I've just gathered enough for a feed here. Uh, slightly under the limit. So there's about 15 in there. So that should set us back nicely for the first recipe I had in mind. Now, let's see if we can get onto some fish. Okay, so I'm just gonna quickly pad, um, paddle back out to the channel. And at the moment, it's prime time for fishing because it's, the tide is actually turning. It's starting to run in. Okay, so the tide's running in thick and fast now. I don't know if you can see in the background, but the water just passing by my kayak. It's really pulling on the anchor. <coughs> so, it should be a really good time to get onto some fish. Hopefully a tailor or an ice cream comes to play. And also hopefully the anchor holds and I remain over the spot. Alrighty, so I'll cast it with the current. Not against the current. Let's see if any fish will come to play. Okay, so after several attempts, it looks like the fishing's no go at the moment because the current is absolutely gushing in and I can't hold my position, neither does the bait. So the bait's just bobbing around, not getting into the strike zone. So I think I might just paddle up to the island ahead and uh, knock up some breakfast and we'll wait for the tide to just go a little bit slack and then we'll um, give it another shot okay so I'll just head towards this island and we'll knock up our sensational breakfast Okay, so welcome back to my alfresco kitchen. I'll just give you a quick panoramic view of the spot that we're at at the moment. I've just bring the camera around, so we'll just have a quick look. Yeah, so the spot I'm at, at the moment is uh, right on this big island in the middle of Lake Illawarra. And as you can see, it's quite a choice picnic spot here, right on the water. There's a bit of shade, the sun's also out, but uh, with all the trees around, it gives me a bit of a windbreak because you might not see it in the background it is quite windy the wind has really picked up and it's part of the reason why i'm here at the moment i just had to get out of that wind and also the current was gushing in as the tide was rising and i just couldn't hold position over the fishing spot so it was pretty pointless just uh winning a line because it just kept on getting swept ashore but uh it's going to be another couple of hours until that tide slacks off a little bit which gives us just enough time to um start with our catch and cook so um, I also didn't mention earlier what I was going to be cooking today. So I'll just give you a quick rundown on the ingredients that we have. Um, that's our forage cockles. And the recipe I had in mind today was um, a homemade pasta with the cockles and a chorizo in a carbonara style sauce. So I'll just give you a quick look at um, the pasta. This is the dough that I needed at home. I'll just include it on the side footage just so you can check out on how it was made. Pasta 101, the food alchemist and uh, there's going to be a slight twist to uh, this recipe. So I had in mind with this dough, I was going to roll it out and make a bit of handmade uh, fettuccine, but um, there was an epic fail, I forgot to bring my rolling pin. So we're just going to have to improvise. So well, uh, I don't really have much choice when it comes to uh, this big ball of dough. We just roll it out and uh, I suppose make up some uh, pasta dumplings or some gnocchis. And then uh, that should be quite lovely. So without further ado, I'm going to start processing the ingredients and uh, we'll start cooking.
Okay, so first part of the process, I'm just going to steam these cockles open. Let's give you another close up on that. Yeah, so there's about 16 cockles in there. And um, once they've steamed open, we'll remove the meat and we'll combine all the other ingredients. Just put it onto this stove right here. And uh, I won't fill it up to the top, but I'll just put about a centimetre of water in there. bung the lid on and let's uh, bring it up to the heat so while the cockle steam open we'll start making the other ingredients yeah so this is just a bit of um home cured chorizo let's give it a close up on that And this will uh, add a lovely, spicy, rich, savoury um, punch to the dish. Alright, next up we'll just chop up some garlic. Yeah, I love the, these sort of trips that I do. Um, just a bit of coastal foraging on the kayak. And when we get to a lovely like picnic spot like so, it's just so relaxing. And I can just like unwind, take my time, knock up sensational recipes and uh, put on film for all you viewers at home. So. Oh, it's a bit much, quite a lot of garlic there but uh, ah, what the hell, we'll just go, go all out with the garlic today. Garlic's good for you anyway, it's full of antioxidants. You see the cockles are starting to heat up. They shouldn't be far far from now. Alright, just set that aside there. Okay, it's really starting to heat up now. Let's have a look inside. Alright, yeah, it's really bubbling away. Yeah, I can see one starting to open. They should all be starting to open. I think they're just too crowded. But um, they're just about ready. So I'm going to take it off the heat now because I don't want it to overcook. And we'll um, remove the meat from the shells. Okay, just set that aside. Let's bring this down here. Okay. Alrighty, so I think I'm gonna need a glove for this because they're quite hot. Yeah, they have started to open, but um, some of them are just too crowded. So that's oh, wow. that's hot, hot, hot. Give you a close up on that. I'll just keep some of these juices. That's another one there. And I'll just give you a close up too. So they're not overcooked to see how juicy they still are. And that should go lovely in the pasta. So the cockles have been deshelled. I'll just give you a close up on the bowl, lovely bowl of cockle meat there. All right, so we'll just set this aside while I knock up the pasta. All right, so let's knock up the pasta. Okay. All right. Actually, it shouldn't be too bad with um, the gnocchi. So I'll just put a bit of dry flour on here just so the dough doesn't stick to the, the board and we'll just roll it out stretch it out like so It'll just pinch off little strips of pasta I say actually it doesn't look too bad just give you a close up on the progress so far I'd eat that note to self next time don't forget any utensils 
Yeah, so um, off camera, I put another pot of boiling water. So we're just bringing some um, water to the boil for the pasta while I'm knocking up these little pieces of gnocchi. Okay, so the water's starting to boil now. What I'm gonna do is, once again, salt police is not here. We'll add salt to the water. Yeah, that's, for that, that's probably uh, about a teaspoon of salt there. And also, just pour in a little bit of olive oil too, so the pasta doesn't stick together. And we'll bring, bring that right back up to the heat. Okay. All right, so we can also start combining the other ingredients as well. Okay, so into this pan, I'm just gonna add a bit of olive oil. Just a touch, that's about a tablespoon there. And we'll just let that heat up a little bit. Okay, so the oil's just about hot now. We'll add in the chorizo. And let that brown off a little bit. And let some of that fat from the chorizo just ooze out. Okay, so that smell that's coming off this chorizo is sensational. It's got that lovely fermented cured meat smell with a smokiness to it too. Right about now, I'm gonna add the garlic. Okay, so in goes the garlic. It's just about time to pop the pasta in as well because um, this pasta, being fresh pasta, it's not gonna to take too long. And um, the chorizo and cockles are not too far away now. All right, so we're just plunking that pasta there. Give it a twirl with my chopsticks. And pop that lid back on. Oh, that chorizo is all getting all crisp. That's sensational. Okay. Clean the table. And right about now, this is just some um, thick cream. Pour that in as a sauce base. Just to cool that down a little bit. Oh yeah. If you notice that, uh, I'm not going to add the cockles yet until close to the very end because um, the cockles are already cooked and I don't want it to be overcooked. That way they'll retain a lot of its natural flavours. And we'll just let that simmer for a bit. I'll just have a quick taste just to see if it needs any salt adjustment. Yeah, a little salt won't hurt. Pasta's just about done. And uh, we'll add the cockles in now, just so they can warm through. Then I'll just strain this pasta straight into the sauce. Oh yeah, that looks sensational. And we'll just toss that through. Mmm. The smell that's coming off this is like amazing. Okay. Just let all that gnocchi soak in all that lovely sauce. Okay. And that is just about done. Okay, so with the final touch, just tear up a bit of uh, fresh parsley. Just give you a close up on that. Now doesn't that look sensational? So let's see what it tastes like. So I'll just go for a mouthful with a bit of gnocchi, some chorizo, and a cockle. Mm. Oh, yeah. That's amazing, guys. Just 
is that little taste there. Right, it's going for the kill. Mm. Oh yeah. The pasta has got a lovely al dente bite to it. And um, actually making it in this gnocchi style, it, it isn't too bad. Um, it looks quite rustic, but um, the texture is awesome, guys. So um, I managed to redeem myself with a fail, not bringing the rolling pin, but um, I may have discovered something um, special. This could be a discovery of the century, guys. So, um, and also with the, the cockles, it is a bit chewy, but um, nonetheless, you, you can taste the sweet taste of the ocean. It's also, all the natural taste has been retained because it's not overcooked, I only just steamed them open. And these cockles are so fresh that um, they were just gathered uh, literally about a couple of hours ago and uh, now we're eating them now. Yeah, I'll just have another mouthful. Mm. Oh, something about chorizo and shellfish that just goes so well together guys yeah. so um, once again guys I hope you enjoyed this video now um, as for fishing I may or may not um, get out there for fishing because uh, um, after I finish off this meal um, <laughs> depends on how I feel might, might go into a food coma and uh, call it a day but if I do um, get on to some fishing um, we'll follow through another episode but um, as for now I'm just going to kick back and uh, enjoy this sensational breakfast on this quite lovely day and uh, until the next video guys bye for now